Hello! Well, Professor, as you may already know, you have a really big fan base in the world of Nancy Drew. Many of our fans, myself included, would love to ask you some questions. Rock and roll, dear! We all first met you while we were on vacation and you were researching Marie Antoinette. Everybody remembers all those chores we had to do for Mr. Egan, and at Life Size Ghost is wondering, did you ever actually go skiing in those purple boots? Ah, yes. As soon as I was done with deciphering Marie's journal, I took a nice long break in front of the fire, had some hot chocolate, had some of those delicious chicken wings. But one can only lounge around for so many days. Sooner or later, I needed some fresh air, so I went out and hit the ski slopes. Look at this picture. Aren't those boots fabulous? Wow, it sounds like you had a lot of fun after we all went back to River Heights. Speaking of Woodford's famous chicken, Natalie Jasmine wants to know, why did you say you weren't fond of meat? And then order 50 drumsticks. Because if I was fond of them, I would have ordered 75. So if chicken isn't your favorite meal, Liberty White wants to know what your favorite meal is. Ooh, now that is a hard question, Mindy. I suppose I'd have to go with one of Marie's traditional dinners as my favorite meal. We'd start off with lobsters, oysters, pate, all as appetizers, of course followed by scallops, breaded foie gras, some sort of hare stew as the main course, and chocolate cake for dessert. But ooh, I do love some fried chicken couscous. At Dragon's Bubble wants to know, where did you learn your mad camera skills? All self-taught, dear. <laughs> Hopefully this video proves that I have just as good as camera skills as you. Emily Elizabeth Lewis wants to know, why do you know so much history off the top of your head? yet you struggle with my name. My mind is like a ravenous monkey gobbling up every banana in sight. Now, Cindy, when you become a 2,000-year-old queen that no one can find, maybe my mind will gobble up that banana as well. How does that sound? <laughs> okay, okay, fair point. Megan Benham wants to know when you are coming back as an in-game character. Unfortunately, I am in the middle of writing my memoir. The quest for the perfectly fried chicken. Until it is done, I don't really have time for silly side projects. I think we're just about out of time. Thank you for being here today, Professor. I know you are very busy writing your memoir, and I understand that you normally do just like to kind of shut yourself away until you finish that book, but we really appreciate you taking your time out of your day to come here. Oh, not to worry, my dear Penny. This was almost as lovely as a break as the time I went to this yummy cheese factory. Uh, but that is a delicious story for another day. I must get going, otherwise Mr. Jingles will get lonely. How did I get some fresh air when we were skiing? Did you want to, did you, well, we could, we could leave mm. this, that's okay. If you yeah, since this is just going to be, alive. like, okay, since we're yeah, not going to see both of them in the shot, I'm going to, I'm going to move the table and this silver because if I zoom I in, I start to get that I needed to yesterday oh, or if I'm just yeah, late or we're just like, like ah! <laughs> you move two inches to the left. You are further 